and I bring now back to Joey and Ken. Oh, it wasn't that nice. Nice. Thank you very much to whoever that was. <laughs> All right, let's get right to the pool. Bismarck and Mandan going at it. And this team, Dual Mandan, looking to pick up their third dual win of the season. We started the 200 medley relay. And it's the boys from Mandan coming in first in a time of 1 minute and 54 seconds. Next, we go to the 200 freestyle. And it was senior Caleb Fry, lane two, pulling away from the pack. He wins in two minutes and three seconds. Then we head to the 200 individual medley, and Ryan Bergman will touch the wall first. He finishes in two minutes and 17 seconds as we go to the scoreboard. We're we don't have a score from that, that game. <laughs> Friday. This, this is a frenzy for sure. Yes, so. this is pretty hectic. All right, let's go to gymnastics. All right, let's go to gymnastics, where Mandan was also at home hosting the Mandan Invite over at Starian Sports Complex. All the BPS schools in attendance, Minot in attendance, and even Fargo Davies as well. On the uneven bars, Minot's McKenna Gress, she hurt her arm during this routine, but she powers through and earns a 7.5. Good job. Next, we go to the beam. Mandan's Kelby Bender finishing up on her routine, and she'll stick the landing, received a 6.9. Over to the vault, Century's Tia Schulte with a very nice vault here. Execution good, and judges gave her an 8.3. No score again from there. We'll try and get you to that on the, uh, the digital website, kxnet.com. Yeah, we just had a lot of action today. Um, but back in the capital city, the Bobcats were in town. There we go. All right, they faced the Aberdeen Wings. The Bobcats are already down four to nothing in the second period when Alex Pollock makes the steal. But the shot is no good, so the Bobcats still down four to nothing. Later, the puck, the Bobcats work it around and they get another good look, but again, no good, so still four to nothing. But they were on the power play, and they would score a goal on the power play. We'll show you that in just a second. They lose 7-1, to one, so tough break for the Bobcats.